So good evening and good morning to Sita, rest of the people. Good evening, I suppose. Nice to have you all around. Good evening. Namaste to everyone. Namaste, namaste, namaste. So meeting, okay, got it. So now I I, uh, I was just wondering, what do we talk about today? Anything is a topic for us to discuss. So there were quite a few things that came to my mind uh, during the day. Uh, one of the statements uh, once my daughter made in one of the programs we had uh, was a very striking one to me. She said that life isn't about how many breaths we take. It is about how many moments we have had that took our breaths away. So, uh, maybe um, it is roughly to translate हम तो स्वास जिंदगी भर लेते रहते हैं लेकिन ऐसे भी कोई वाक्य या वक्त आता है जिसकी वजह से यू नो इट हमको एकदम सरप्राइज कर देती है कि हमें पता नहीं चलता कि क्या हो है क्या हो रहा है यू नो दैट काइंड ऑफ फीलिंग तो इट टेक्स अवे योर ब्रेथ सो ऐसे कुछ हादसे हैं फॉर एनी वन टू शेयर वेयर यू कैन से दैट यू नो ओ आई समी स्वेट अंडर माई कारपेट यू नो कुछ हो गया ऐसे कि मुझे मैं हैरान सा हो गया यू नो समथिंग लाइक दैट दिस इज वन पॉइंट दैट आई हैड दैट वी कैन ऑल शेयर विथ ईच अदर इफ द इज दैट कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर टू यू आई मीन वेन वी से दैट लाइफ इज इंट अबाउट हाउ मेनी ब्रेथ्स वी टेक इट इज अबाउट हाउ मेनी मोमेंट्स वी हैव हैड दैट टू कवर ब्रेथ अवे सो ये कॉन्सेप्चुअली ये जो ऐसा है कि समथिंग दैट हैपन विच यू नो यू कुड जस्ट नॉट Yeah, it took you to a different segment, different uh, horizon, different world. I saw kuch koa. My name is Deepak Shroff. I would like to share one instance. Exactly. Go ahead, Mr. Deepak. But if, if you you can switch on your camera, it will be even better. Okay. Thank you. Mohan Krishnan, welcome. I was I I went for my daughter's master physiotherapy admission at Manipal. okay on merit list she was on 11th number and in manipal there was six seats for neuro adult okay five numbers were called and those seats were full for neuro adult oh. at that time i remembered my guru and to my surprise from 6 to 10 there was nobody and 11th she was called and she got that seat kya baat hai yaar so that is a moment which i never forget Too and good. i was really surprised very pleasantly surprised sometimes it's a shock it was like a shock are how it is possible <laughs> so jab jab jo jo hona hai tab tab yeah and now yeah. she is in canada and well settled wonderful so that that's a great great share mana aa gaya sun ke deepak ji thank you excellent where are you speaking from i'm speaking from mumbai malad acha malad to canada mein aapki beti aaye to toronto mein hogi nahi toronto mein to nahi hai she is in saskatoon acha sita ji we know better province sir it's it's an entirely different province oh But yeah, uh, there are there are flights, there are trains, so it's not difficult to reach Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> so please extend my invitation to your daughter. Sure, sure, definitely. I will share my contact details. She can come down and oh, yeah, visit. You her. are in Canada. I'm in Canada. I'm in Toronto. You are in Toronto. You you how how can I get your details on the mobile? I, I, I don't know much. With you in the chat box. I can share in the chat box my email ID and my telephone number. You you give me your telephone number. I will note down. I don't know how to get it from the chat box. Okay. Sir, there is a chat box. Uh, if you uh, click, I mean, if you press on the three dots on the right on your screen, you see three dots, right? More. One minute. One minute. Sita ji, I can share you the Sita Sita ma'am's contact. That would be wonderful, Rajnath. Yeah, I have, I have his number. Oh, Thank so. you very much. 
Well, Archana can enable that. Wonderful. Thank Wonderful. you. Thank you, sir. You have my contact details now for Archana ji. So please make it a point to visit uh, Toronto whenever you are here. Tell your daughter to, to get in touch. Her name I'll, is I'll be my to talk. She's a physiotherapist. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I would love to meet her. Sure, I will definitely pass on the message to her. Now oh, she sure. has given birth to a baby. The baby oh. is seven months old. Oh, I see. I see. you're a happy grandpa. Very good. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the club. If you get the first one. Thank you. All right. So, anyone else has anything to share? Lax, I take this opportunity to welcome Sri Krishnamurti Venkatraman here, a very senior person known to me from Calcutta. Oh, wow, wonderful. Uh, he is a very senior person. He is a dramatist, a scholar, and so many things. I would like uh, Krishnamurti uncle to share something with us. Oh, that will be wonderful. I saw one Krishnamurti logging in earlier on. He is from Kolkata, a very senior person, a dramatist, a very accomplished person. Very... Wonderful, wonderful to know that. Krishnamurti ji, kindly come over Krishnamurti. online. Unmute yourself and uh, start your video. It will be nice to listen to you. He has not joined his audio. I, I thought he was there when I joined him. He is there, but he has not joined his video. Sorry, audio. Let, uh, let's, let's wait for him to come back. Others can speak. Okay, okay, okay fine. Prakash ji, आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे? बस सर एक ही बात बोलनी थी कि आपने जो बोला ना दम तो हमारी बाणी में कहा हुआ है हम आदमी हैं एक दमी मौलत मनो ना विसा We are the owner of only one सांस ये मौल सांस लिया है फिर वापस आए कि ना आए तो the bhagats and sons tell you to don't waste your time whenever there is time you should go for meditation. Remember him. You think, okay, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. No, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have That was also very well uh, written by, I think, Shahir Rudyan Bhai when he said, Aage bhi jane le tu, piche bhi jane le tu. Jo bhi hai, ye hai. <laughs> 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 Very well. And any hard thing that you want to say to us, share with us, our friends? Many, many. I, when I go out of the shop, I have a private bus. So, I have a friend who is standing in the car. I wish I could get out of the car. So, I said, In the morning, I came to know he was not. He left. Absolutely. Oh. So it was so shocking for me, you know, that uh, Kumar Bhai was so tired and tired. He told me that I was not able to do anything in front of him. When he wants to do anything, he doesn't have to do anything. It was very shocking. Oh, understandable. <laughs> That's a lot of things. अब तो अब तो उम्र गुजर गई है आज से देख देख हम लोग को तो आप इसे सीखने का एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है ना आप बताएंगे ना हम लोग पता चलेगा जीते जीते क्या क्या हो सकता है आदमी के साथ हां जी हां जी कल सर जी ने बात बताई थी कि दोस्ती और अच्छे लोगों को ऐसी जगह पे जाने से रुकना चाहिए तो वहां पे मुझे एक ये याद आया था वाणी का कि कबीरा संगत साध की जो गांधी की वास जो कुछ गांधी दे नहीं वास तो आए पास आप अच्छे लोगों से जब दोस्ती करते हो आप जैसे लोगों से दोस्ती करते हो मोहन सर के जैसे लोगों से दोस्ती करते हो तो वो आपको कुछ फिजिक ये दे ना दे लेकिन उनकी खुशबू तो आपके पास अपने आप आ जाती है तो आपको अपनी संगत का भी ख्याल रखना चाहिए जैसे बोलते हैं काजल की कोठरी में कैसो भी जतन करो काजल का दाग लागे ही लागे तो आप अपने आप को यू हैव टू वैल्यू योरसेल्फ दैट यू आर बुरों का साथ ना करो ना जी गुड 
Dr. Shan, up, anything that you would like to share? Up muted, ho, if you can unmute yourself. Yes, uh, I'm joining first time. Okay. And uh, frankly, I, I, I joined just a little late. Uh, so uh, I would definitely like to participate when the, I understand the subject, but I, I just like the way Sardarji said, Aap ek hi dam ke malik hai. Uh, I mean, uh, though everybody knows it, uh, most of the time we live as if we are immortal. Uh, but, uh, but again, um, that spirit of living is more important and we should really live it like that, that um, <clears throat> enjoy every moment. Yeah, right. just, for, just for your benefit, Dr. Shah, uh, this yes, is sir. a space for very safe communication. So we just have an open house where we yes. can talk on any subject uh, that we feel is relevant. We just yes. ignore uh, the religious aspect and political yes, aspect. Yes, 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 yes. Things we I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, I have uh, heard uh, and I attended few of the medical Oh, yes. Recently, I, yes. Coincidentally, I am in US at present. Oh, okay. Uh, so I just got up a little late. late and uh, uh, But, uh, you know, henceforth, I'll try and join most of the time. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Which part of the United States are you in? At present, I'm in Albany. Mein hu. Yeah, that is north to New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I am in Aurangabad. I am in Aurangabad. I will really love to participate. Wonderful. So, you are on the east side? At present, east side. East. Okay. So, right now, some summer must be setting in, I suppose. Yes, yes. Beautiful atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Krishnamurti ji, uh, I, uh, I think he is unmuted he can definitely speak and we would welcome him uh, if he can also switch on the video that will be wonderful Krishnamurtikar oh. at the moment I think he will catch up or koi share kare we will catch because he is unmuted so I thought he is ready to speak I think I thought the same yeah yeah. I would like to tell you all a small story. Yeah, go on. Go ahead. Huh? So there was a young girl who went to Canada for higher studies. Okay, it's got nothing to do with Sita or our friend uh, Deepak Shara. <laughs> they, they, they went, she went to Canada for higher studies and they said that the course will take 10 to 12 years. So after reaching there, she sent her parents a bottle of red color potion. So Mother Puchi, what is this? She said, this is a youth portion. Aap ek drop lenge to you will go back five years. <laughs> so when I come back after 10 years, you take two drops. You will be at the same age you were when I left. So when uh, daughter came back, mother took two drops, a young, attractive mother that like the day she was right. And the mother was carrying one baby around. So she said, baby kon hai? She said, this is your papa. Wo pura botal pe gaya. <laughs> So I, I read this and I was immediately remembered. But you have egg sauce, egg sauce, and pura bottle nahi pina. Whatever bottle you think it is. <laughs> oh, lucky that uh, the medicine really worked the way it was supposed to work. Uh, there was a movie called Anoki Ada, in which it actually reversed. So the doctor himself, uh, played by comedian Mahmood. He takes the medicine and, uh, you know, becomes a senior citizen very fast. Jawani tera bol bala buda pe tera mu kala, he says. Well, that was interesting, Mon. Really nice. That was really nice. That's good. Yes. See, uh, the breathtaking moments need not be necessarily 
a happy one or a sad one it can be a fun one it can be with mischief oh, yeah. it can be a mischief Ra one it could be Ra Ra rather rather it should be made more fun way yeah so what i mean normally people will think something pleasant and shocking like what uh, mr deepak talked about the pleasant surprise yes you can make you can make it into a mischief you know i was once returning yes. chennai bombay bombay chennai uh, long back about 10 10 12 years ago next to me was one famous south indian cinema actress so we got talking she said where are you i gave her my card and said i am currency officer reserve bank and deliberately asked her where are you from who are you you should have seen her face you know she said you don't recognize me i know who is this but my city at that but my what are they I said no, no. I don't see movies. Who are you? I said my name is Gautami. I'm acting. Karthi. <laughs> <laughs> de deliberately, bad boy. She did. But I had the fortune of traveling with Sachin Tendulkar sitting next to me. Oh, that's right. That's from really Calcutta, from Calcutta to Mumbai, and that was an absolutely pleasant experience for me. You should have told him. I don't recognize you. What game are you playing? Unfortunately for me. There was also one Sanjay Manjrekar, who is another cricketer, ex-cricketer. He was just yes. two two rows behind me, and after the first twenty twenty five minutes, once the the seat belts were loosened up, he called him over in Marathi because there was a vacant seat next to him, and Sachin excused himself and went uh, and sat with him. So I was very unhappy about it, uh, but I was happy that you know I got twenty five minutes with Sachin Tendulkar, undivided attention. I could uh, <laughs> get to my complete, uh, you know, whatever time I had, I rattled all the numbers, the statistics that I knew of, and I was difficult question. That way, I've been a little fortunate to travel with a few cricketers, like Jai Simha once travelled with me Bombay to Hyderabad. Yeah. Shrikant has travelled with me sitting next to me. Uh, Sri Nath, Jawadal Sri Nath has travelled, and I've met quite a few uh, on some in some parties and stuff like that, you know. But Sachin's was a highlight for me. In fact, I wrote a uh, article on that and published in my official uh, not a website. I mean, I shared in my intranet in my office. Uh -huh. those, those were my working days. So I used to work uh, in Oracle, and that is where I actually uh, when I returned back, some of the people who said, "Ki yar, did you wash your hands? I would like to shake your hands before you wash it." <laughs> That was the impact, you know. I mean, like a godly figure for the uh, politics of this game, you know. So I had that experience, which was great. Yeah. Can I can I share yeah, some yeah, of my experience? Go ahead, Polly. Can I ahead. join to speak something? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I also have a very interesting event in my life. Yeah. Uh, maybe twenty five, thirty years ago. I should I I can go, cannot go back. Uh, a real date, but it must be twenty-five to thirty years. Uh, we had been uh, attending an international film festival in Delhi. So right now I'm speaking from US. I'm in New Jersey right now. Oh. But uh, that time I was in Delhi, and uh, we were just we just came out of the the international film festival. Whatever movie we programs we saw, it was very interesting. We were really very happy, and we just came out to take our car. When we just sat in the car, my husband was about to start, and a lady comes. and she says can i can i uh, get a lift from you we looked at her and uh, i don't know i didn't recognize much but she looked a little familiar to us and uh, we said uh, okay come along <laughs> where do you want to go she said pusa road and we in delhi we were uh, close by to pusa road we were in patel nagar so we said yeah that's just on our way you can come along and we can uh, you can share our, uh, the seat in our car she came along and she sat in the car And then I looked at her closely, and she, you know who she was? She was Nina Gupta, oh. the actress. <laughs> But uh, she was not that famous at that time. Thirty uh -huh. years ago, um, I, I, my memory goes back only that much. Maybe thirty-five years. I don't know, but it is definitely thirty years. So she yeah. came and sat with us, and uh, we she she thanked us and all that. Then she rose into fame. and uh, now we started realizing that oh that was neena gupta she was such a young girl that time <laughs> and now we see her often on the screen now again she has revived for yeah, few yeah. years she was not seen 
but now she's again seen on the screen because she's coming up in movies and all that. Right. So she's she's, becoming, she's becoming again a celebrity <laughs> for us. So that's the incident, you know, that I just wanted to share. <laughs> anyway. did, did, she speak, did she speak about uh, her career path and the plans that she had and what she was doing? Uh, not really, because there was not much, because I think it was, uh, uh, no, no, really not. Because we didn't, uh, she was not that famous at that time. Oh, okay. she, she had just come in a few side roles, kind of, you know, just, uh, and she was not very uh, popular and she was not that known. But she, we could recognize that she's, uh, she's Nina Gupta. Oh, <laughs> so but she, that, she yeah. was, yeah. But I think she was acting in some TV series. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Initially, she was, initially, uh, she yes, started yes. with uh, TV series, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then she came in some movies. She had just started her career. Correct, correct. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, she something. Like those, uh, I'm, I'm tempted to ask. Was it before or after Dave Richards? Uh, must be before. Jane Bidoyaro and all was much before Richards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Richards happened in '88. She met Richards in I think '74, '75 season, and then started their affair. Then Richards was here for the first time as a young cricketer. Yeah, he, he debuted then, but yeah. I mean, uh, uh, when the child was, uh, thanks to the child, she escaped that fire in 1990. Yeah, yeah. So, I would think uh, that when again 1988, Richards had come as a captain uh -huh. India, that is the time they must have had uh, yeah. a child actually. Because uh, she escaped, during that, which, movie, which uh, serial was it? Sanjay Khan's one, you know. Uh, uh, sword of Tipu Sultan. Sword of Tipu Sultan. Uh, Tipu Sultan. The Tipu Sultan thing happened, you know, the fire happened and she had just gone to feed the child. That is how she escaped at that time. So it's providence. So yeah, uh, again, another uh, un uh, not so knowledgeable about this beauty contest at all. I was returning uh, by British Airways from London and I saw one lady passing through, you know, walking very slowly and I was getting a little hassle because I wanted to overtake her. But she was occupying a lot of space and walking slowly, ele very elegantly and, you know, she went on and on and on and it was just, eventually I ent entered the business class, she, and she further went ahead and she went into the first class. Then throughout the uh, eight hour trip, I was just wondering, whether, did I see her on the TV yesterday, you know, like, it was Yukta Muki. She was a beauty queen uh, of, or whatever. She was Miss India, Miss World, whatever. This was in, I think, 1999 or 2000. So, again, the whole thing was when we were in Bombay and coming out, the way the media took care of her to, you know, just whisk her out of the customs and all those things, you know, the clearance and all was just like an NGP and we were standing in a queue. So, that special treatment she got by having got so much of accolade for the country. So that was another occasion. But I wasn't swept off my feet though. But it was something unique for me. It, it, it looks like you are really lucky to travel with so many people. Uh -huh. Next time we should learn to travel with you. We will uh -huh. also get somebody to travel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are lucky, I must say. No, no, just imagine a cricketer of Jesse Must uh, level. Yes. I went and spoke to him in the waiting area. Then once we boarded the flight, it was an empty flight. I was sitting in 27C, which was my normal seat in Indian Airlines flight. 27C, I was, we were going to Hyderabad. He was in 29 somewhere and he came and sat next to me because it was an empty seat. Oh, that was also very nice of him, you know, despite what his stature was. Though I asked him a lot of difficult questions, I it was embarrassing questions for him, but still he answered them very politely and, uh, you know, elegantly. He was a very elegant guy, very handsome, very nice looking. I mean, imagine, uh, I don't know how many of you are uh, cricket followers, because otherwise I will rattle a whole lot of things there. And if it's not be interesting for the rest of the people, I don't want to bore them. That's a, interesting things are interesting. It doesn't matter whether <laughs> cricket or something. <laughs> okay, okay. Just for uh, everybody's information, I can tell you that uh, way back in the late 60s, mid 60s, or 68, 1968, Jasima was 
called into uh, Australia because we had we were playing four test matches in Australia and four in New Zealand back to back. And after the first two test matches, B S Chandrasekhar had to return due to an injury, and our man uh, was Jaisima for Australia was the headlines in the paper. So Jaisima went. I, first two test matches we had lost. The third test match, Jaisima played. He scored seventy four and hundred and one. And hundred and one, he scored in a losing cause. We were chasing three hundred and ninety two, and three hundred and fifty five was the score when Jaisima got out. So I asked him about it. So he was very happy that somebody remembered and asked about it. This I am talking nineteen eighty eight, eighty nine. So I just told him that this happened twenty years ago. And he explained to me how he got out and how the non-striker Umesh Kulkarni was doing his best to stay back, but it was a top edge when he tried to sweep that he got in the leg side. You know, he, he gave me an answer that you know I was trying to hurry up so that you know we don't uh, lose the other guy and I'll try and score all the runs. But this is what happened. He said, so that was amazing for him. And uh, the other difficult question I asked him was that. The, He played two test matches in Australia and four in New Zealand, and after the 74 and 101, he scored. The remaining five test matches, his highest score was only 19. Highest was 19. So when I asked him which was his best series, he said the same thing that you mentioned, Australia and New Zealand. So I asked him, why do you say Australia and New Zealand? Just because in the first test you scored so much, but in the remaining five test matches, your highest score was only 19. So he was again rattled, but he said very beautiful things at that point. Yeah, hey, cricket is a team game; it is not an individual game. And when we went to New Zealand, that was the first ever time India won a Test match abroad in 1968, and we cleaned up New Zealand then three one. And for me, that matters more than an individual record, which was amazing. I, I was not mature to you know put the question, but he was very mature to respond to me. And very kindly, he could have been difficult with me, but he was not. So even this, uh, I have a write-up of all these um, dis- discussions that I have had with cricketers. Oh, that's really nice. Really. I, I mean, we, this you know that that what one thing definitely shows that uh, most of the time these great people are really great in a sense. As a human, they are so nice. Very nice. Which is, which is, which is, you know, sometimes uh, not seen with, uh, you know, many, maybe, many, many, times, many. But this lesser mortals thing. I mean, and that's that's one thing which I really uh, always, uh, you know, <clears throat> feel very nice. Uh, the one incident, uh, if you have time, I'll like to I share. Uh, I was. Uh, you know invited rather i was told that oh you have to come and attend my daughter's marriage in mumbai and uh, so two days i was with my friend's place doing whatever is needed you know mm. not that there was much to do but still you need few volunteers are ye utha ye jal le kya kar par so the reception was on uh, that uh, rescos and there i was told to look after you know who ever comes and uh, serve them something and talk with them because the too many people coming yeah. and right on time lata mangeshkar came wow wow lata, lata mangeshkar and for her she, it was difficult to walk so from her car to stage nano car was arranged Achha. and she came and that time the couple was not there the couple was as usual you know yeah making up with uh, makeup and this and somewhere and then traffic you know such a great personality she came wow. she sat she sat more than 45 minutes for a couple hours one hour and all celebrities were coming and i i was just around around her. and all celebrities is coming didi didi pound shoote the namaste karte the and big big people big people mm-hmm. i mean us time pata chala ki what a human can be good otherwise she could have said, said okay i can i, I just i mean they are, they are very good close relationship my friend has with her had with her and so and that was like one thing which i realized that 
few people are so great. Then when the couple came, they met him, they, they, she, and then she went. She did not even eat that day there. And she has, but that was one incident which has struck to me that sometimes many people get angry and you know get fears for small things. <clears throat> For her, it was, I mean, if she had said, okay, I'm going back, nobody would have ever said. But she was, that was her greatness. That, I mean, that's really, it has amazed and I remember it just now, the way you said about the cricketers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think so humble. I mean, such a, such a, so much to learn from such people, you know. And and big people, you know, I mean, we, we, whom I had never even imagined seeing, they came, they used to sit near her, sit down. Huh? She was sitting on a couch and they will sit down on the ground, <coughs> touch the feet. Hi, the respect she commanded was amazing, amazing. Which year was this? Uh, about, about 15, 20 years, 15, 15 years, okay. not much, not much, not, okay. not much. It's wonderful to know. I mean, I think so much to learn from all these people, you know. Yes, so much to learn. Exactly. So much to learn from these people. Yes. So much to learn. And, uh, you know, people who have just achieved something, they'll start feeling that, oh, I have arrived types, you know. And, and, and coincidentally, their relationship was not... I am basically a dentist. I mean, in, with implants um, most of the time nowadays. Uh, but of course, long back I passed. I passed in 1975, and my friend uh, Lata Mangeshkar was his patient for years. Together, for years together, <clears throat> he has treated her, and that that was the bond and relationship. But for that, she just was amazing, amazing personality. Very nice to hear this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sham. That was very, very enlightening for us. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so who else can volunteer to share anything? Someone from Coimbatore is there. Van Coimbatore. See. Van Coimbatore is the Anantanarayan. He is from Coimbatore. He has a lot of incidents to share. Okay. And Anantanarayan. And then we have uh, Jagmohan Saini. He is from the army. He has got lots to share. I'm Sita sure. Is a very enlightened speaker. I would like. Uh, yeah, we would like to hear you, Sita. Good evening. Very good evening, sir. I am Anantana Rayanan from Coimbatore. At present, in Singapore. Of course, at present, I am in Singapore. Okay. Actually, I wanted to narrate an incident. Please, uh, please. In, During my service, I, I was in government service. Ah. I was working in uh, Goa, Kanpur, Hyderabad, Delhi, and Madras. So, from Goa, when I went to Kanpur on transfer, I was allotted a guest house for interim stay. So I had a neighbor in the guest house. Sardaji was there. And that was the year 1977. And after Kanpur, I was transferred to Delhi, uh, Hyderabad, Delhi, uh, then Madras, and then I had retired. So luckily, I could meet the same Sardarji after 30 years in oh. 2000. <laughs> yes. It was uh, 1977, I saw him at uh, Kanpur, and around 2007, I met him at Delhi, actually. We were surprised, actually. <laughs> After 30 years, we could meet, and we could recall those incidents of our stay there at wow. Kanpur. So that was a very memorable incident. It took place in my life, actually. What's, so, his, what's his name, Anantanaran? Mr. Chaini, Chaini, Chaini. Yes, Chaini. He was, he was, <laughs> actually, that was the incident, actually. We enjoyed it. Anyway, we could meet after 32, 32 years. Thank you for giving me a chance. Thank you. Wonderful. I mean, uh, way, the way you said, I met somebody from after so many years. Yeah. 
Thanks to Facebook and the social media, I too met one of my customer turned friends after 24 years in 2018. Sir, let me share another thing also. I will tell you, I have come to Coimbatore because ah. after retirement, I am coming to Coimbatore because I studied everything in Coimbatore only. For 15 years, I was in Coimbatore. So ah. I wanted to meet my old friends, but I am not able to get any of them at all. My college mates or school mates. I'm not able to meet any of them at all. I don't know how I have to get them. I don't know when I will meet them. I can't say. I think I have to wait. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> no, but as you very rightly said, these WhatsApp groups have made it so easy to you know form a, a good bond. Um, I mean, uh, uh, our batch we graduated in 1975 as a, you know, amazing. And most of them are practicing in US, UK, Malaysia, Mauritius. I mean, that time because they were international students allowed. That Our batch was the last batch, 1975, 71 to 75, Government Dental College, Mumbai. And so the this technology amazes me. Yeah, yeah. technology is an enabler. So I, just is, now yeah. we are sitting at some different places and we can just chit chat. That's such right, a right, correct. So may I now invite uh, Marjorie Fernandez to uh, introduce and sh share about what she feels has been the breathtaking experience. I've just come to one second. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. No problems. I just joined this group. I mean, I didn't know what you all are doing, but anyway, I thought <laughs> what you people do. So I joined for that purpose. Well, I'm, uh, I was teaching in Delhi University and I've retired. Can, can I you switch on your uh, video also? I'm not in a position to switch it on because, you know, I didn't know that you have to put your video on. Otherwise, okay, I'm okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Don't mind this time. Next time I'll come properly dressed everything. So... <laughs> Be at home, be at home, no problem. Okay, just... I mean, uh, like, uh, I've always kept in touch with people. I've tried to, and it was a nice experience for me in 2017, you know, that conference I attended mainly because I wanted to meet my old friends. After 40 years, I was meeting uh, two or three people, and I felt very sad because I know this, this was in Norway. I had gone for a summer school in 2000, sorry, in uh, 1974. And again in 78. And after that, I had not kept, I mean, sometimes we wrote a letters those days, no email. And, uh, uh, but you know, when you have friendships, the time doesn't matter and you feel really nice with you. But at the same time, knowing that I won't meet them again in this life at least, I felt very sad about it. At least two or three people who were, really, who were very good friends who kept up and who, after meeting them after so many years, I felt it was really nice. But uh, at the same time, there was this sadness that I may not see them again because they are unlikely to come here. And I also, I don't think I'll go all the way to Norway again. It's too expensive and plus with my accident in recent months. So, yeah. so I don't know what do you all cover in this sessions. I mean, like. <laughs> well, uh, all I can say is that this is a completely open space for communication. We talk anything, we discuss anything. Accepting political things and uh, religious stuff, yeah. sensitive stuff. So yeah. here today I was just talking about, uh, I just triggered something on breathtaking experiences. So if anyone has anything to talk about it, people have spoken about it, you know, the, uh, the rare experiences of, you know, uh, Dr. Sham spoke about his meeting with Tata Mangeshkar. I spoke about meeting some of the cricketers, including Sachin Tendulkar. So, there are more such things and, uh, you know, those experiences are really valuable. Yeah, because I'd like to also mention, you know, I was lucky to get this opportunity to go to study in England in the mid-70s. Oh. My classmates, you know, were all big shots of their classes, I mean, of their countries. Because one fellow became the uh, Bangladesh cabinet secretary. One was the president, uh, the son of the... Uh, uh, whose father was uh, competing for the president election, but then the communist, this one, INDA took up and uh, um, he didn't the same fact. He, and his brother was a US ambassador. They all had to get out of Chile. 
so this itself you know i mean that a whole experience of going uh, abroad in the 70s when you had no internet no a way of contacting keeping in touch with your people back home it was a very you know unique kind of experience which i was lucky to get in fact it changed me so much i was i said i don't recognize myself what i was before going and what i have become after coming it made me really independent so this kind of uh, you know opportunity is not just once in a lifetime of course excellent yes definitely that that was good good sita you have something uh sir i want i want everybody who's coming for the first time to speak first that is also so, okay. yeah yeah i can always talk later if anybody has anything to say let them go ahead otherwise i can share my experiences may i yeah sure thank you um this was way back in the 80s when uh, i was i was looking for a, an auto rickshaw on the uh, on the road and then it was between 1 and 2 pm so that was the lunch time and normally these um, auto rickshaws they don't run during the lunch time they go home for lunch yeah. so that was when i was waiting maybe for 15 minutes 20 minutes and there was somebody else who was coming behind me and then they were they were also this person was also standing i didn't i didn't turn back to look because it was quite deserted and um, suddenly i i thought okay there was an auto rickshaw that was coming i waved my hand and then at the auto rickshaw and then he stopped that's when i turned and looked at this person who was standing next to me who was also waving out and that the driver didn't know who whom to take i was standing alone and this gentleman was also standing alone so he said go ahead and um, i said no you can come in and then i you can get dropped anywhere you are going he said no no i'm only going till here i said i'm going further down so i can drop you on the way you can get it uh he got in <laughs> believe me it was a person i had always wanted to meet wow. the with this characteristic cap uh and i was i was actually speechless because i had always wanted to um i was a great fan of his pb shreed was oh great singer and then i had always listened to him and then he was there standing next to me and i couldn't say a word <laughs> i just said the piece get in and when that sat he was sitting uh, at the edge maybe he was not comfortable i wanted to say so many things and i couldn't i just couldn't i was <laughs> absolutely zipped up. so i i kept on thinking mentally by then it was time for him to get off He said thank you, and he walked away. I said he's going. Say something. Say something. <laughs> I could. It was done. He went. He just went. So that was that was like yeah. I even today I regret. I should have said. Oh yeah. my God! I could have said. You see beautifully well. He would have known. I I identified him with the, his songs and things like. That. So well, yes, that was the moment I, I I always cherish. I could share you know a space with. the great great singer is a blessing for me absolutely but i i really feel you lost out on a great opportunity to have a oh yes oh yes i never forgive myself for that <laughs> i could have said something i always so felt he was not comfortable sitting and then said maybe string yeah which singer it was i couldn't get it ma'am pb shrinivas pb shrinivas the great right, singer south indian yeah. singer south indian singer but he has sung hindi songs also yes yes Yes, lesson no. Can you can you hum a Hindi song of his, Lex or Sita? Chanda se hoga, yara. Ulo se hoga, yara. From my be lucky. Dangan me cham cham, nalla samunna hamala. Beautiful. What a what a great singer. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked him for. Uh, the combination with the uh, vishwanath and ramamurthy and then uh, it was like uh, kalangalil oru vasantham beautiful wonderful duets and wonderful songs so uh, even today even today i i do relish i i enjoy listening to them but i i don't know some of them and i i i have to seize the opportunities don't miss it uh, sita again no 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 no, no, no. sita i know sir 
uh, I can really understand. You know, I, I was must be uh, uh, more than an hour around Lata Mangeshkar, and I did not. No, I could. First of all, I just they had no guts to go and talk with her when so many people were meeting. I don't neither, know. I felt very I, stupid after. I her. could think of taking a photograph. Now I feel <laughs> right. <laughs> I yeah, yeah. I took with it. That was, you know, when you are ah, oh, and every moment you are just there, but no yeah, no. thought, no further thought of you know yeah. um, talking, taking photograph, or oh, nothing, nothing. That was that. But then they could have mobile phone those days. It wasn't so handy, and for you know, taking selfies were not so popular. So yeah. I could have, but I never had a mobile phone in eighties now. Definitely, I, I thought of a photograph. I mean, At least I could have is. said something. I could have said something about music. Why couldn't I say it? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it that's happened. a simple oh, so, Some of them. moment. Real, really a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Such a situation, can't you get in touch with the person afterwards? I mean, even if it's a belated opportunity, maybe because he's so yeah, famous. But then, but then it's like anybody yeah, else, ma'am. I mean, yeah, that of course. Yeah. But you could See, have, maybe an, you an opportunity have gladly like, remembered. You know, if you met him, he would have uh, gladly remembered, oh, this is a lady who was kind enough to give me a, you know. It is, I think it is very tough because I tried with Tendulkar that <clears throat> because I met him in 2004 and again in 2018. Uh, After 14 years, uh, I was meeting him. I uh, no, I, it was not possible. I mean, he was very. Uh, it, it was not 2013, not 2018. Sorry, 2013. After seven, eight years, I met him, and I told him we flew, we flew together. I told him so, but uh, of course, he just smiled. It was very kind of. But he, so many people must be meeting him here. Yeah. No, and that too, there was such a big gap. Really immediately, like whenever you realize that, oh, I should have spoken, it could have, I think. I mean, that also opportunity has gone anyway. No point. Many, so, many opportunities. Yeah. Uh, if I, if I want to talk about, I yeah. think this was, I was not meant to. Okay, finally, you know, the, the easy way not to feel guilty about it is, okay, I was not destined to talk to him. That's ah, okay. well, that was one consolation. I was consoling that. It was a beautiful piece I read. In which a young boy of about nine met Roger Moore at the Heathrow Airport. And this young boy told his grandfather, go get his scene, that is James Bond. <laughs> so his grandfather went up to him and wrote, and he wrote Roger Moore and gave it to him. The boy was disappointed. He said, no, 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 I have a James Bond signature. So the grandfather went back and said, I don't know who the hell is James Bond. So he said, oh, really? Then he called the boy over. He said, I've signed Roger Moore because I don't want the spice to know that I'm James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> and he was nine years old. Nearly 25 years later, he met uh, Roger Moore as a part of the advertisement company in which this fellow was an architect. So he went up to Roger Moore and said, do you remember me? And Roger Moore smiled and uh, from his expression, he could make out that he didn't remember. When he was le leaving, Roger Moore beckoned to him and said, I do remember, but I don't want the spies to know. Thank wow. you. <laughs> that's amazing. Really good. That's saying, nice. saying that Roger Moore did not know who this man was from Adam, but he made up so well. Yeah. But this man, you know, as a, he says, oh my God, James Bond is so fond of me. <laughs> he made his day. Sorry, <laughs> I remember. So, uh, I mean, uh, the regret part of it, I think um, I, I can I can share another experience where I got over this. I did make an attempt, but there was not enough time, but it was acknowledged. Like okay. when I was traveling, uh, flying from Hyderabad to Chennai, I was hurriedly, you know, walking through the uh, foyer. And then suddenly, suddenly there was somebody standing right in front of me because it was too narrow and we, we were almost bumped, uh, bumping into each other. That person stopped and smiled at me. I didn't know who he was. He didn't know who I was, but I knew. It was Balamurli Krishna. Wow, wow. And then he was right in front of me. He was like Manasika Guru from me from childhood. So suddenly I looked at him. I said, Namaste, sir. That's all I could say. Namaste, wow. sir. And then he acknowledged. He, of course, definitely. He, he knows that I would have identified. Namaste, sir. And then he just blessed and went. He didn't have time. But at least I could say Namaste, sir. He knows, yes, I'm one of his friends. Great. So unlike in the case of B.B. Srinivas, I did that. I said, okay. I patted myself. At least I had the courage to do this or I had the presence of mind. 
to 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 say this and he acknowledged <laughs> just yeah. my learner just raised his hand and went so next, time, was, next time you meet somebody you will even be more comfortable talking <laughs> <laughs> well let's <that's> hope <laughs> Okay, Being the senior, that means if I don't learn it now, then there is no time for that. That's yeah, another thing. <laughs> Sita will be a celebrity. Yes, by, the time Sita will be a celebrity yes. by the time Sita will be a celebrity herself. We'll okay. all oh, God. oh my God, such a big thing to say. Thank you so much. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed, sir. Actually, that and is who, look who is talking about being celebrity, sir. Mohan, sir, talking about <laughs> Sita being celebrity is unthinkable. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, anything can happen. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. But I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm taking away some time. I'm, I must say this, uh, share this. As a 17 year old, I was uh, learning. I think this oh, person. Yeah, Lex, Lex. Yeah. The internet connection is unstable, it says. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so for me, getting into Shanmugananda Hall was not a problem because. So, for a Filmfare Award function, I managed to be around in 1972 as a 17 year old, and Dilip Kumar happened to walk in. So, I walked along with him to take him to the green room as though I am part of the Shanmugananda staff member. And as I did that, Dastan was about to release and it was March end and 7th of April Dastan was releasing in 72. So I, I tried to speak about Dastan then I said can I have your autograph. He said I have a sprained neck so I cannot give my autograph. By the time uh, the time was over for him to go inside but you know that was Dilip Kumar for me you know he, he didn't give me an autograph but I did walk with him. But I was only 17, but I managed to talk to him at that time, whatever it was worth. So it was yes. still enjoyable. Yes. Yeah. Jay Krishna. Yes, sir. Pandey ji, batayye, aapko agar kuch aisa vakya. Any... Ah, sir, mera, my, my vakya is slightly other way around. Uh, it's around, uh, I think, uh, the, uh, the, the story is about uh, uh, the period of 1972. I was, I was about to appear or I had appeared in high school, my 10th class. And uh, that time I was, my home is in Varanasi. I live in Delhi. And uh, I had just passed out from my UP Sunning School, Lucknow. I did my schooling in Lucknow Sunning School. Somehow I came to know that Satyajit Ray is in the town. Wow. And, uh, wow, wow. and uh, he was shooting for a film uh, at the, uh, on the banks of the river, Ganges. And my home uh, happens to be on the bank itself just uh, 100 or 200 meters away from where he was shooting. Wow. So one fine evening I went and saw he was shooting for uh, Joy Baba Felunath. Okay. A, detective, uh, a detective movie for kids. Uh, so uh, that day just I saw how the shooting is done and all that. Uh, <clears throat> it was very strange from the uh, the way we see the movie and the yeah, way yeah. it's uh, shot on the location, the version, yeah. camera on the trolley and all that. And I was just uh, 14, 15, so it was, I mean, a big surprise for me. Oh. And and uh, one of my senior friends had narrated me that uh, Satyajit Ray picks up his actors for his films just when he's roaming around or strolling or just like that. If it uh, clicks to his mind, he will pick you up. Uh, and that time, by the time I had uh, left my semi school, I also, you know, in that age it happens, everybody wants to become film hero. So that uh, sickness, that bimari, I also inculcated, got <laughs> infect, <laughs> infected with. So the next day again, I went for evening stroll, thinking that I'll come across Satyajit Ray. Uh, and by chance it happened that he was, that day he was not shooting. But with, with his Yashika camera 
uh, hanging around uh, his neck. He was just passing that uh, place, just nearby my uh, house. One lady with a small kid, just, uh, he was, you know, come climbing down the stairs and she was climbing up with his, uh, with her uh, seven, eight years uh, kid. Oh. And I was just behind that lady. So since uh, Satyajit Ray, Ray is Bengali, was a Bengali, that lady was also Bengali. Yeah. So she addressed him, Sir, you don't know that Vishwajit Ray is a Bengali. Ray. She asked him, who doesn't know him? But still, she just questioned. And he had a very heavy voice. He just said, hmm. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> So, uh, but I had my other uh, idea. I thought that he will uh, look at me and uh, maybe select uh, me as an actor uh, for his forthcoming or future films. <laughs> I made two theatres around him, just, you know, crossing. When he was going, then crossed him. Then again, when he was returning, I again crossed him, thinking that he will observe or uh, see something in me. But I was, uh, you know... So he was disappointed he didn't <laughs> bother to say towards me. <laughs> Though I was all along looking at him. So that is how I saw met uh, once by chance Mr. Satyajit Ray. <laughs> and uh, in, 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 the, in that process, I saw Mr. Uh, Somitro uh, Mitro also. Somitro, he had also come for, the, for filming that uh, picture. Oh, okay. I happened to see that actor also in person from very close quarter. So, if if you had got a break, then we will see you cellular screen. Pe dekhte. Ha, ha. Ha. Actually, uh, I think uh, I didn't take chance. I should have taken chance. Uh, yeah, that time I... Project, instead of just walking around, just uh, go and ask him, can I have a role? You are anywhere ah, looking like one Bengali film hero only. JK could have tried a chance. Yeah, I, I just feel that way. I just go ahead and ask. Maximum kya hoga nahi bolega na? Jada se jada nahi bolega. Yeah, that, that time uh, the maturity was not so much. I was <laughs> just a kid. There, there, you know, say ki in, in Malayalam there is a saying that there was a fellow going in an elephant. One fellow said, give me the elephant. Hmm. So, he said, what is the elephant? 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 He said, what is the So, JK is the best sentence. He said, what is the role of the villain? He said, what is the role of the villain? I always want to become a villain. I think still some line, time is left. Still, I can attempt. Never too late. Never too late. <laughs> I, 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 I think in life, a, many times a, it happens that... A.K. Hangal started acting when he was 67. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. And he lived on... Even sir, so Sri Ram Lagu became hero at the age of 40, I suppose. 40, 45. Yeah, in Marathi movies he became hero. Yes. Yeah. yes. So, there's never a problem. Character actors are there, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you, you no could be the next Iftikar playing the inspector's role always. So it's not so play a hero, no problem. He can play a hero like a film in a film like Chini. Come, he can play a hero with Tabu. Sorry, Sita? Inspector uh, had always been an inspector in all movies. Yeah, if, yeah. But if you see Khel Khel Me, he was the villain. I see, I see. Yeah, you must see Khel Khel Me. They used the image of the inspector very well. All along, everybody felt he was chasing because he's an inspector. He was after people. But actually, he played the role of a black cobra. There was a screen name for him. In Kale Kale May. Early days of Chikapur and Nidhu. Chala. Uh, now, we have Lakshmi Ravichandran, who has been a quiet listener, but not opened up today. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good Hello. Day. Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Namaste to everybody. I've been listening quite interesting things. So I thought today I'd be just a listener. Uh, and uh, I can only say that uh, I was reading this book uh, called uh, The Music Room by uh, Namita Devi Dayal. <laughs> so it so happened that I just finished that uh, book. 
and I was uh, I happened to attend some literary fest in uh, Mehboob Studio in Mumbai. So uh-huh. when I went there, it was just a pleasant surprise for me. There was something commotion going on. Somebody had entered. And when I looked, it was Namita Devi <laughs> oh. so, so that was a chance, you know, like uh, I could um, see her. But again, like uh, Sita, as she was uh, saying, I didn't have the courage or nor even the, uh, I don't know, something stopped Present me from going mind, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Present yeah. mind, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I somehow felt a little yeah, reticent, yeah. So uh, even my friend was saying, why don't you go and get uh, tell her that you're reading that book, you know? <laughs> so I said, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Too many people were around. I didn't want to go there. And then even at this age, I'm saying it, it just happened six or seven years back. But still, uh, so that was one. Uh, I was looking at her from far and uh, she seemed to be quite, uh, she had written this book very well. Uh, even now it is my go-to book when I feel like reading. So, mm-hmm. I just, <laughs> so I just wanted to share this. Lovely, lovely. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. Tampa Dyer. Uh, Lakshmi ji, you're just confirming yeah. that uh, yeah. I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all have been tongue-tied, you know, at several times. Yeah, we don't know because it all happens so all of a sudden. We don't expect that person to come there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It and happens then, with me all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Always a missed opportunity is what we feel. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> At least we'll have some such forums to talk about it, uh, which is great, I think. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But somehow I was a little more proactive in that way. I, yeah, I... You seem to be doing a lot, I think. I mean, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> No, just looking back at 17, I could walk around, walk along with Dilip Kumar, though I didn't get yeah. it. But then I, it's okay. Yeah, right. Like getting autograph from cricketers or movie artists has been the way. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. I mean, I, mean, yeah. I, I, I met Azaruddin uh, in Dharamshala airport. I had a chat. I again baffled him with a lot of data and uh, statistics that I could rattle. Mm-hmm. So, he was quite surprised and he was happy. I clicked pictures because my grandson clicked the picture, uh, so it was easy for me. That was just five years ago. It happens. I, I mean, I've enjoyed uh, talking to these uh, statesmen, big, big people. And they have been listening also, which is good, you know. I thought uh, otherwise they can be really difficult and be snooty. But uh, they are pretty down to earth, I felt. Whoever I, excepting that Dilip Kumar, maybe he just rejected a 17 year old walking alongside. <laughs> With grey hair, that way it helps you. <laughs> yeah, Tambi Nair. Unmute, unmute yourself, sir. Van Coimbatore also wants to say yeah. something. He's raised his hand. Uh, I was uh, just, I joined, I was out of uh, place. Just to join you now. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. You are not able to get the context of what we are talking? Pardon? You didn't get the context of what we are talking? Just to tell me, please. <laughs> oh, no, no. We were talking about the moments that could, you know, take away your breath. Suddenly, something happens. Just like, you know, how uh, Sita said that she was tongue-tied. She could not talk to the person. Because suddenly, she met a celebrity. And, uh, you know... Yeah, that's a you know, okay. special. Uh, I have so many. I I have so many. I first I try to go for I mean acting in this one, which I couldn't do it because at that time I, uh, my conditions was not that good financially or that way. Then I joined the syndicate the bank. Then yeah, that was in 1976. That day, that uh, few weeks after, Basu Chatterjee came to uh, Charney Road to shoot his first, first or second movie, Choti Si Bath. Choti Si Bath, okay. I, I was crazed to act in a movie, but I could not even go to go near him <laughs> <laughs> because I, I was such so much surprised and perplexed. 
because he is a great man but i loved his uh, uh, direction very much and uh, my favorite actor as uh, you have already told you is raj kapoor i have never seen his movie that time but whatever uh, movies he has acted later on usual i mean seventy after ninety uh, only i have seen his movies okay, okay. so you yeah, you couldn't meet him i had the opportunity to yeah. visit the studio in at in uh, pune okay that studio is no more there so also i i i was i have witnessed the last uh, this one uh, orchestra of mukesh at samugandha uh, hall ah okay like i said very and uh, so many of most of the opportunities i i could not manage to get it back to me so i i, I am just singing mujer songs especially i have heard you and uh, so also uh, the other singers not that famous am um, am raja sp balasubramanyam yes uh, you uh, and uh, kishor kumar and mohammad rafi also I, i like the bhubendra song also ah. and somebody told me that my voice matches with mugesh that is why i started singing is from the first song chandan sabadan ah you have mentioned it correct yeah, that also i have mentioned you yes. now uh, somebody was telling me uh, in a few months back that my voice me matches with that of kumar sanu <laughs> oh <laughs> slightly nasal then <laughs> so i have as um, earlier also i told you that i have sung some 1300 songs of all languages kannada malayalam hindi english and tamil wow That's that is my experience but uh, just because as a I, I have learned music, but heard it from somebody else, and uh, I could manage to remember any song, any time. <laughs> great, great! I think you have a great quality. Uh, you are blessed to have that yeah. particular quality. Tell me a song. I, I have to leave. Person. I can sing it for you. All right. Now it's. Uh, anyway, we are, we are uh, winding. Okay. Next. Yeah, time. yeah. So and, uh, I would. Uh, Okay then, I don't want to spend like much. To tell that uh, okay. series of talent uh, next season is starting on August seventeenth. So spread the word around. It's yeah. a, a, something we have our circle enhanced with so many okay. people. And before I wind up, I also wanted to say that five years ago we had been as a group to Muhammad Rafi's bungalow in Bandra, and that was another excellent feeling we had. You know when we saw all the. Trophies and awards, which are maintained in a, one big room. There are so many of them. One, one more sentence, sir. Nowadays, uh, nearly thirty people are singing so well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is so true. So well. That is a great achievement for this unit, this uh, group. Correct, correct. Very true. So, thank you so much for being there, uh, Archana. Should we close it out? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you so much for being there. See you yeah. next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.